Now at 11, a bomb scare at Best Bet. How JSO helped out in Clay County when someone spotted a suspicious box. City Hall Showdown. A key council member has questions over the mayor's choice for a new consulting firm. I wonder if our money is being spent wisely. The new plan to demand answers from the mayor and how the mayor is responding tonight. Live at 11, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax begins with breaking news. People ran in fear after a mass shooting tonight in Maine. At least 16 people are dead. That number has been increasing over the last hour or so after gunfire in multiple locations in this small town in Maine. I'm John Bachman. And I'm Chandler Morgan. In the last hour, police in Lewiston, Maine, shared pictures of the suspect. They're right here. You can see that he appears to be holding a long assault-style rifle there. The mayor there says that another 50 to 60 people have been hurt. Police in Maine are still working to figure out the full scope of what's happening there. You can expect updates in this newscast and tomorrow on Action News Jacks this morning. We're also following breaking news here at home in Orange Park. In the last 30 minutes, JSO's bomb squad left the scene of a bomb scare at the best bet there in Orange Park. That's the good news. The breaking news started uh, at about 7.30 tonight. Orange Park Police put in a call for JSO to send their bomb squad in. The best bet in Orange Park is on Wells Road at US 17. And Action News Jack's Annette Gutierrez was there when the bomb squad got there. So Annette, in the last 15 minutes, we found out what was in that box. Yep, I just got off the phone with the Orange Park Police Department and the spokesperson told me that they discovered it was a box full of Bibles. And I actually ended up talking to the gentleman who was near the van where that box was at and he said he was just happy it wasn't anything else and he's glad that they investigated it. Now I want to show you that there was actually a flood of people that came out of here as soon as the JSO bomb squad wrapped up and that was around 1030 and then soon after that they left this parking lot had many more cars in it. I would say about 10 cars ended up leaving after they were able to be dismissed. But this whole parking lot was blocked off. No one was able to enter and no one was able to exit. But I want to give you a closer look as to what we were looking at earlier. Take a look at this video. You can see that the police activity was a lot more active. And as you mentioned, the Orange Park Police Department was called about a suspicious package on the parking lot around 7. Patrol cars had to block off the parking lot. And a spokesperson had told us someone driving a pickup truck had placed the box next to a vehicle and then they drove away. And the security guard on property told us it appeared to be suspicious, which is why they called the JSO bomb squad to investigate. And then after more than three hours, they wrapped it up. And then I actually spoke with a patron who said they're happy it was better safe than sorry. I'm honestly just thankful if there's a situation that happens. I'm annoyed instead of terrified and running around like trying to save somebody's life. So I'll take a delay over a tragedy any day. As I said, better safe than sorry. So JSO came out from Jacksonville to come to Orange Park to do their due diligence, investigate a suspicious package, and to found they found out it was a box full of Bibles. Now, Orange Park Police Department did say that they were going to take that piece of property and put it in their evidence pile. So we'll see what happens with that, if there's anything more to that. But for now, for local coverage, you can count on reporting live in Orange Park. Annette Gutierrez, Action News Jax.